Let's take a look at your movie reviews for the week. And as we saw yesterday, the major new release in cinemas is the latest chapter in the Fast and Furious saga. Fast and Furious 9 stars Vin Diesel, former wrestler turned actor John Cena, rapper Cardi B, and Oscar winners Helen Mirren and Charlize Theron. Chabs, um, if you'll allow me, you've been on fire the last couple of weeks. Some really great chats um, with some of these stars. And this one, well, it could well be the biggest film of 2021. Will fans love it? Matt, I'm very, very happy to say blockbusters are back, baby. The big movies are back after that 15 months or so of, uh, you know, much more middling films thanks to COVID. And Fast 9 is already the fourth biggest film of 2021. Its biggest competition this year comes from the 25th Bond film out in September and the 24th MCU film Black Widow, which is out next month. They're also both spy films. And in this film, the franchising, uh, the franchise obviously left street racing behind a long time ago. Dom Toretto reluctantly gets the crew back together to track down the missing Mr Nobody, played by Kurt Russell. The team split up and crisscross the globe and they come face to face with Dom's greatest adversary yet, his long lost brother Jacob, played by John Cena. And they have to um, uh, employ the uh, marvels of a giant magnet truck. Let's take a look at Fast 9. <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, look, it's, I've never been a huge Fast fan, but for oh. the first time in, in over a year, I've been able to watch a massive blockbuster with a huge bucket of popcorn, switch the brain completely off and just absolutely soak it up. It is so absolutely bat spit crazy. It is a <laughs> bonkers blockbuster and it will appeal. I'm sorry, I'm full of puns today. Three and a half it. stars. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's ridiculous. It is just... on a massive bucket of popcorn. Mark. Yeah, well, mm. of course. There's one, one of the things that I love about you is this eclectic mix that you give us. You were literally taking us to the other end Just of the spectrum. Just when you think spectrum. it'll zig, he zags. He does! And we're going to talk about now an Oscar-nominated documentary which is about an elderly man who's sent into a nursing home as a spy. That's right, Mont. So Sergio answers a newspaper ad, men between 80 and 90, wanted for a job. He turns up and they say, mate, get into this nursing home. There's reports that the <laughs> residents are being mistreated. We want you to spy on the staff, spy on the residents. And so it's a job that Sergio takes up with relish. Romulo contabilizé 40 mujeres y 4 hombres, incluyéndome. Todas las señoras me parecen iguales. Pero no es tan vieja. Es viudo, dice. Sergio. Look, if you're a fan of The Father or June again, you're going to love this old finger. See what I did there? Yes. Gold finger. Looks finger three good. and a half stars. How good's the concept? I love the look of that. It's just him saying it, all the ladies look the same. It's yeah, funny. it's look very heartwarming and then it has some really serious messages there about loneliness. A lot of these people don't get visitors from friends or family. So very thought-provoking and uh, real, you know, quite a work of genius. A couple of contrasting films for you uh, in, on the big screen this week. Love your work, Jabs. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Cheers.